Hello, good news. Text to speech is working. Hi there, my name is Ryan, and this is a short demonstration of uh, the Unity SDK from IBM Watson integrated into Unity. And what we're going to do today is have some basic speech to text that's triggering some expressive text to speech. Hello, computer, do you like the color blue? I love the color of the sky, too. How about yellow? Do you like yellow? Oh, yes. The color of daisies and bananas. Oh, sometimes you make mistakes, though. I am so sorry. I'll try to do better next time. Oh, thanks so much. And your expressiveness makes me really happy. That's so nice. You bring me great joy as well. Uh, how about quantum theory? Do you know anything about that? I don't really know how to answer that. That's good uncertainty. Okay, well let's finish up for now. Thanks and goodbye. Bye-bye and thank you. Alright, so there we go. Um, so that's just the basic gist of it. All we did is took the example streaming, which is one of the default projects that comes in uh, from Unity, uh, out of assets within Watson. And then inside Watson, if you click on the service examples, one of these threes is the, uh, the examples streaming. And uh, most of this was basically built uh, nested into there. Um, within that code, if we go in and open up that code in example streaming, um, this is the basic um, basis of the code. To get it going, and I'll delete these credentials later on, but um, I modified the username and password to add the suffix of stt, because I'm declaring private strings for both speech to text and then later on um, text to speech uh, below here. So that's one change I need to make from the code. So you need to go and get your credentials, which I show you how to do in the other videos. Um, and put the credentials in for speech to text and then for text to speech. And then all I've really done here is I've left most of the code in place from streaming. I'll, I'll post this on my GitHub repo so you can copy and paste it. Um, and just started to play around with these test strings. Um, and what I did is I nested the, um, uh, the text to speech code within the example streaming code. I didn't, didn't call any sort of separate uh, methods from outside of this code. So uh, not necessarily best practices, but a good way to get started just with the example. And, and the main piece of coding that's happening here is uh, right around this line uh, where the text is being returned from the speech to text service. This is a great point to pick off and do conditional checks as to whether the transcript contains a word. So does it contain the word blue or yellow, happy or mistake? quantum or a goodbye. So I, I basically hard-coded that demo that you just saw there, uh, fairly unsophisticated. But for each one of these conditions, I was able to put in um, yellow reflecting daisies, um, happiness for joy, um, and mistakes, uh, and apologetic tone. So this is the, uh, the expressive text-to-speech that's in here. There's actually uh, another demo that's available that takes this um, customization and voice customization to the next level. I'll post that in there as well. It's called the IBBC, but this is just sort of the basic nuts and bolts of basic expressive speech. Um, but if you want to get started with some, some back and forth, uh, get voice in and voice out and start to impart that voice and that, that sense of state on your characters, uh, this is a good place to start. Um, so I will uh, post this to the GitHub repo and hopefully it helps you along your journey. Thanks for watching.